on an autumn afternoon, leaves fluttered down with the wind. The small town remained as serene and beautiful as ever. Under the familiar cherry blossom tree, past memories were still vivid, as if time had never left its mark here. However, for the townspeople, 30 years had brought countless changes and growth. Fernando's return to the town was an unexpected arrangement. Now a successful entrepreneur, he owned his company and career in the big city. This time, he returned to the town because his company was considering a new project here. Wearing a neatly tailored suit, he was a far cry from the confused young man he once was. As he walked the town streets, his gaze inevitably lingered on the familiar cherry blossom tree. Memories under the cherry blossom tree surged like a tide. He remembered the countless wonderful times spent with Anna here. Unable to resist, he approached the tree, gently touching its rough bark as if seeking lost time. In the past 30 years, Fernando's life had been like a high-speed train. He dedicated himself to work, building his career, but lost many things, including connections with family and friends and the simple happiness he once dreamed of. Despite his career success, his inner emptiness couldn't be filled with material things. After returning to the city, he married his fiancé at his parents' behest and had a son and a daughter. Three years ago, his wife passed away due to illness, making him feel even more lonely and lost. Now, his two children had started their own families and lives, giving Fernando more time to reflect on his past and future. Anna stayed in the town, becoming a teacher, educating generations of children. She remained kind and gentle, appearing under the cherry blossom tree every spring, like an unchanged cherry blossom fairy. However, her inner pain never dissipated. She never married or sought new love, as if her heart had frozen in that spring long ago. By chance, Fernando and Anna met again under the cherry blossom tree. After discussing business with local officials, Fernando unintentionally walked to the tree, while Anna happened to pass by after school. Their eyes met, and they froze, as if time had stopped at that moment. After many years, Anna was still beautiful, with an added touch of maturity and serenity. They greeted each other, with a hint of unnoticeable nervousness and excitement in their voices. They talked about the changes and experiences over the years, realizing they both had gone through a lot and grown in their respective lives. Anna's smile remained warm, her eyes sparkling with that unique light from the past, and Fernando felt deeply touched again. As their conversation deepened, Fernando realized he had never truly forgotten Anna. The feeling of that love remained vivid and real. Anna also found the long-lost emotional connection in Fernando's reappearance. Fernando suggested they spend more time together to understand each other's changes over the years. They started walking around the town together, reminiscing about the past. They visited the shops they used to frequent, reliving the tastes of the old days, and explored new places, experiencing the town's changes. These activities gradually helped them regain their lost emotions, bringing their hearts closer together. However, the happiness of their reunion wasn't without challenges. Fernando's parents were concerned about his renewed connection with Anna. They worried this relationship would affect his career and reputation, believing he should focus on his career and established social circle instead of rekindling a past relationship. The town's residents had mixed reactions to the news of Fernando and Anna reuniting. Some remembered the pain Anna endured when Fernando left, feeling puzzled or even dissatisfied with her acceptance of him again. They feared this relationship might hurt Anna once more, thinking Fernando shouldn't disturb her now peaceful life. Fernando was filled with inner turmoil, unable to ignore the hurt he caused Anna by leaving years ago, feeling a constant sense of guilt. Though he couldn't control the recovery of past memories, he feared his current choices might bring new pain to Anna. He dared not easily promise the future, afraid of causing Anna more suffering. Anna also faced her inner fears. She feared that re-entering this relationship might repeat past mistakes, especially worried that Fernando's lifestyle might hinder their future. She needed to decide whether to open her heart again and accept the possible risks. In this difficult situation, Fernando and Anna honestly faced their feelings and concerns. They had multiple deep discussions about their lives and pasts, sharing their experiences and growth over the years. These conversations helped them understand each other better, strengthening their relationship. 
They also sought support from friends and family, gradually gaining more understanding and blessings. Finally, Fernando and Anna decided to face the future's challenges together, no matter how difficult. They vowed under the cherry blossom tree that, no matter how time passed, their love would continue to bloom under this symbol of hope and rebirth. They planned their future, including how to balance their lives and face possible challenges together. Under the cherry blossom tree, Fernando and Anna nestled close, immersed in each other's warmth. This piece of land had witnessed their young love and now their mature reunion. This time, they were no longer just young lovers, but soulmates who had weathered life's storms. Fernando gazed deeply at Anna, softly saying, All these years, I've been searching for an answer to what I truly want in life. Now I finally understand that no matter how successful my career is, without you by my side, my life is incomplete. His tone was sincere and firm, revealing his deep affection. Anna gently nodded, tears glistening in her eyes. I was also afraid of opening my heart again, afraid of getting hurt once more. But I know that love is like this. Only by facing it bravely can we find true happiness. Her voice was soft yet determined, showing her resolution and courage. As their relationship grew stronger, they began discussing future plans. Fernando decided to invest in a green and sustainable tourism project in the town, aiming to protect the natural beauty and promote local economic development. He hoped to contribute to this place they both cherished. Anna continued her teaching career while also participating in community activities, helping more young people find direction in life. Her kindness and wisdom earned increasing respect and love from the community. They decided not to rush into marriage, but to enjoy the present and explore the future together. They no longer insisted on formal commitments, but cherished each day spent together. They learned to find balance in each other's lives, facing life's challenges together, growing stronger with each difficulty. As the seasons changed, the story under the cherry blossom tree became a beautiful legend in the town. People often talked about Fernando and Anna's story, admiring their love and resilience. Their story was not just a testament to love, but a reflection of a life philosophy that even after experiencing pain, love can bloom again with courage and faith. In every corner of the town, whether in schools, streets, or shops, traces of Fernando and Anna's joint efforts could be seen. They used love and responsibility to transform the town into a vibrant and hopeful place. Eventually, as the cherry blossoms bloomed again, Fernando and Anna smiled at each other under the tree, hand in hand, walking towards the future. They understood that true love was not a fleeting dream but a willingness to face all of life's storms together. The end of this story emphasizes the true meaning of love and life. Despite any difficulties and challenges, as long as two people are determined to walk together, they can create their own happy life. If you enjoyed this warm and sweet love story, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.